Pops, Mercedes-Benz wanted to charge $1,200 for you to increase the acceleration in your new EQ model. Yes. However, yes. that'll only be here in the United <laughs> States for us foolish enough to pay for it, the EU. Yes. All the countries in Europe have banned Mercedes from their $1,200 a year acceleration subscription in their electric vehicles. This is great news. Hopefully it comes across the pond. Wind back. What the hell was Mercedes trying to do and and, and what's happening here? Well, Mercedes Benz in their new electric vehicles, they're, they're, through software updates, they're going to, if you wanted to subscribe for just $1,200 a year, just $1,200 a year, um, they would increase uh, the, the power in your vehicle and the acceleration in your vehicle. Um, and that only would cost $1,200 a year. Now, my suspicion, my real suspicion is that somewhere along the way, they're going to charge you to subscribe just so you can subscribe to subscribe <laughs> to get a different subscription within their subscription services. Um, <laughs> you know, because there'll be that little portal door that you're going to need to open and you have to subscribe to get the key to open that damn door. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, they, they want to be able to chart. Now in Europe, you know, Europeans are going, we've, we've had enough of this nonsense. You know, if it's built into the car, it's built into the car. And we shouldn't have to pay extra for it on a monthly, on an ongoing monthly basis, just because you think you figured out a way to make some additional money. And, and well, in the United States, you know, we're free and independent from Europe. We proved that in 1776, damn it. And so that means that we're free and independent enough to say, Hey, sure, bring it on. We'd like to pay an extra $1,200 a year so we can have more power. We're Americans, damn it. We can pay that. So you're thinking about selling your car. Go to joinyaa.com slash sell and just enter the information once and get all the offers in one place. It's just that simple. When we do the mic checks, Dad, you're yeah. not that loud. Then I'm you sorry. that loud. All right, here's the deal. Yes, I just get... I just get worked up over this. State senators in New Jersey have, yeah. have been pushing some laws that would help break this trend here in the United States. And it's but just for New Jersey. Yeah, just for New Jersey. And it hasn't passed. Let me read here from the drive.com. A yes. spokesperson for Mercedes Netherlands told Top Gear NL that legal matters currently prevent Mercedes from offering a subscription-based power upgrade. However, the spokesperson declined to comment further. So it's currently unknown what sorts of laws block such subscription-based yeah. services, especially when there are other subscription services that are available in Europe, such as BMW. Use heated seat subscription. Eh, we don't like yeah. that. Automakers can also update a, hor a car's horsepower via free over their software updates, such as what Polestar and Tesla do in Europe. But that cost uh, comes at no extra cost and is a one time permanent upgrade. So there seems to be some sort of legal issue with charging a year yearly subscription yes. for horsepower. Yes. This is at the crux of it is all of the physical components, the hardware are there on the vehicle for it to, I don't know, go that one second faster yes. in the zero to 60 time. Yes. However, Mercedes is coming up with an ongoing software subscription for you to access it. That's where you and I both see, it. that's a line cross. That's a terrible, that's like, let's let's do some analogies here. Okay. That's like I have my iPhone, but yeah. if I want to, I don't know, send an iMessage and be able to edit it, I had to pay a subscription. It's like, no, you no, can, I can. Th that, that would be like if you had your iPhone and you wanted to make a phone call, you had to pay a subscription in order, in order for the dial to go through. That's pretty bad. Well, that is, well, Hey, it can go through. It just might take two or three days. But if you that's pass it, a $10 a month subscription, it'll go through almost instantly, folks. Yes. Okay, I can send a text message yes. or an iMessage, but yeah. it takes five minutes to deliver versus yes. I can send the text message. And it's, what? Well, that's stupid. That's truly stupid. Yeah, because and the, the functionality is already built into the, the phone and it's already built into the car. Safety implications. Yeah. What if that one time you, you didn't pay for your acceleration upgrade and, you and, you're, and you're going on the highway <laughs> and, oh, crap, I need to merge and yeah. I don't have the acceleration upgrade and I get in a car accident. My, I, I, here's a question for you. Oh, my God. Will, will they pay me on a monthly basis if I agree to have less horsepower? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take a discount. Yeah. If you pay. Would you I mean, pay me twelve hundred dollars a year, Mister and Mrs. Mercedes, if I say, "Hey, cut my horsepower by ten percent"? You know, earlier this year we had Stellantis come out and say they were hiring a ton of software engineers, and they saw. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was a thirty, 30 billion. billion dollar a year market opportunity. Yes. To cap to charge people for software. Yes. GMs come out recently and said they're interested not in performance upgrades, but microtransactions that take place in your car. Yeah. This is a terrible direction for the auto industry to be going, but it seems pretty inevitable. And it's and it's been um, premeditated by like 
microtransactions in games that we play or apps that we download. This is the future. Your car is just a computer on wheels. They're going to find new ways to monetize you. Unfortunately. Fortunately, Europe, yes. at least, is setting some precedent to not allow it. And saying, uh, no, not, not at the moment. And in the United States, uh, we'll probably go, yeah, well, you know, hey, if I want it and I can afford to pay for it, don't tell me I can't do it. We've seen in the past that a lot of backlash for these things. Mm -hmm. uh, BMW got a lot of backlash for their heated seats. In Toyota this country, in this country, Toyota, when their key fobs stopped working, the yes. remote start for key fobs. Apple CarPlay. Apple, BMW. BMW with Apple yeah. CarPlay. We've seen pushback and we're going to continue to need to see pushback or else these things will just become normalized. And we should never allow these type of things to become normalized. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. We are pretty uh, pretty yeah. strong on the, and, we don't and, like it. And by the way, if you'd like to leave a comment, you'd have, have to, to subscribe. subscribe. It's $10 a month. Don't you worry about it. <laughs>